Hello everyone and welcome to NEET Mentor. In this video, we will talk about NEET PG 2024 is going to get conducted and what is the proof. We will talk about what is the expected cutoff revision considering it's going to be NEET PG in 2024 and not next 2024. Okay, and then we will talk after the cutoff revision expected how to get a seat in case your score is between 180 to 300 means through merit you are able to you are not able to get the seat then what are the different approaches management seat NRI seat and what is stay vacancy round we will try to understand in this presentation if you are new here and you have uh, uh, jumped over to need mentor first time please make sure that you subscribe this channel it's a very important asset for your NEET PG counseling process. We also assist you throughout the counseling process through our paid counseling guidance. Our website is neetmentor.co.in. There you can access different counseling guidance packages for government, for private, for DNB, diploma. And there is one portal as, as well, which is not guidance package. In the portal, you can access the cutoff, fee structure, stipend bond, college level, clinical details, all the notification and updates. You can get last year all the notifications statewide and for national level counseling. Let's start with cutoff revision analysis. I have included this in previous videos also. Uh, for those who are new here, they must understand there are a few factors behind cutoff revision. Before we start with cutoff revision, let's see what is going to happen in 2024 based on the facts. So the fact says, as per next brochure published on the AIMS Delhi website, they say the eligibility criteria who are eligible, the following are eligible to take the mock test. Final year students pursuing MBBS courses in medical and medical college and institution in India. Final year students. Those candidates who had already attended the NEET PG exam. What about them? They are not final year MBBS students. They already completed internship and they are post interns. Or those who already have completed their internship long back. So what out of them? they are not eligible to take mock test it means the the authority m's authority doesn't want want them to uh, take mock test and subsequently the real next one or next two exams okay for the recent examinations so it's very clear message that those who are already interns okay or experienced mbbs doctors if they want to go for further PG education, they need to attend NEET PG. And next session 2024 is going to be NEET PG 2024. I'll give you one more proof. This is screenshot you can see from the print media. Okay, they say the first next two scheduled for June 2025. Sources in the commission also said while next one will be conducted next year for MBBS batch of 2021, batches prior to 2019 can also appear in the test but counseling process for the PG course will be done after a year when next two is completed for 2019 batch in 2025. Also, NEET PG 2024 will be the last NEET PG for admission in PG courses in medicine okay so the print news media says as per the officials in uh, NMC NEET PG 2024 will be the last NEET PG for admission in PG courses okay and uh, other proof that I mentioned so with in nowhere in the webinar it was mentioned clear cut that NEET PG 2024 is going to happen it was all unclear but subsequently it will be notified officially in very clear in very very clear wording that 
next year is going to be NEET PG 2024 because sooner or later they need to announce the <coughs> calendar by NB. Now let's talk about cutoff revision expected. Last year it was revised by 25 percentile. So what about this year? If the number of seats going to be left out is more than last year, minimum cutoff revision you can expect 25 percentile. If it's less than less last year, then it may be lesser than 25 percentile revision. So what we expect this year, more number of seats is going to be left out. Why? First reason, seats have increased in big number. More than 3,700 seats increased in MD, MS and diploma and uh, plenty of seats in DNB and NB diploma. Okay. Second region, there was a long gap between the NEET PG 2023 result and the counseling date. So this long gap, nobody will just enjoy. They will start preparation and they have already started the preparation. Someone, many uh, have started the preparation and they already prepared for around two, 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 and, two and a half months. One more month is expected from the, for the counseling to start. So, if somebody prepares for three to four months or three and a half months, they get, get some uh, confidence in the preparation or come to some maturity level. They expect the counseling may be ending by October month or in the month of October and in two, three months, you can expect the exam uh, in the next year, maybe Jan, Feb or March month. Let's uh, take uh, three to another three months. So you have done the preparation for four months and another three to four months you have. So many candidates would go for drop if they are not satisfied with the uh, seat allocated. Okay. So more number of seats is expected to be empty this year compared to last year. Okay. Considering this is last need PG. Last year was also the same process, uh, same uh, thought process. They assumed that NEET PG 2023 will be the last NEET PG, but it was not the case. NEET PG 2024 is now the last NEET PG. So more number of seats will be vacant after All India Counseling Round 2. So you can expect more uh, cutoff revision, which is which can be more than 20 per, 25 percentile, and it doesn't happen all the time in the round of five it can happen 27 percentile also. So let's take a look at how if it happens by 25 percentile. This year, in case of 25 percentile re reduction for general category candidates, they would be needing around 208 score. Okay. And uh, reserve category candidates would be needing 171. Okay. So this green mark on the left side, I had uh, done green mark being on reserve side but being on the updated side now if they revise by 25 percentile 208 is the general category cutoff and 171 is the reserve category cutoff now considering that let's see what is possible in case uh, you are looking for clinical branches and in the clinical more demanding clinical branches like radio diagnosis general medicine Ops and gynae, pediatrics, orthopedics, and dermatology. Okay, so what sort of options you have? In the beginning of the video, I mentioned NRI, management seat, and stay vacancy round. So, <clears throat> those who got 30,000, 40,000, 50,000, 70,000, even 80,000, they will just apply. And there are some states like Uttar Pradesh, they can expect management seat. But what about you if you are not having sufficient score? or you're going to qualify after cutoff revision. You might not be able to get the seat just uh, do, uh, doing the choice filling. So what other option you have? You need to get the NRI certificate in case you have some someone in the blood relation who is outside India and ready to sponsor your education. And once you have that certificate and those who do not have certificate, they must start the process now because it takes in the worst case one to one and a half month in the best case 
around uh, 15 to 20 days okay so take the worst case scenario and you should start the preparation uh, getting nri certificate now okay then you can put nri certificate in the state counseling and in the all india counseling and you can get the seat allocated high tuition fee allocated under the nri quota in the low score other approach you go with management seat so what is the meaning of management seat i mentioned that already you have difficult chance to get management seat but it's not the case everywhere you go for rajasthan state and as you mentioned here you go for karnataka state and maharashtra state the management seat fee is too high so you have a chance there to get um, radio dermatology medicine such branches in management seat okay uh, just you need to follow the process so what can be the and stay vacancy round the third third option what is the significance of stay vacancy round stay vacancy round seats are those which are allotted to someone but not joined so these are left over seats why they are not joining either the institute is substandard or the tuition fee is too high okay so those seats will be coming up to stay vacancy round and you need to see because you don't have much time on particular day the stay vacancy round may get conducted in many cities many colleges across india and you have to make your presence physically it's not online it's offline so you can't travel everywhere so you need to have a timely advance information about the seat availability because what is written on the paper it's not uh, always true so you need to know the practical seat availability through some sources okay which we can provide you under our paid guidance and you can reach to that college on timely manner to get the seat so that's that has some luck factor involved if you talk about the how much uh, fee you require so uh, for radio diagnosis you need 60 lakhs plus for dermatology same general medicine you need around 50 lakhs 55 lakhs plus for gyne around 50 lakhs plus if you say i have 30 lakhs budget and i want gyne my score is this much i would say you drop this year or you go for other branch there is no other way pediatrics around 45 orthopedics around 45 take a look at some other branches which is which are not that uh, not that much in demand and they also have good number of seats general surgery respiratory diseases psychiatry ophthalmology ent and anesthesia the way you get the seat remains the same en sorry nri then management seat and stay vacancy round the budget will change in case of surgery it can be between 20 to 40 the colleges which is asking you less amount need to see if there is any hidden fee in, involved okay if heated fee is involved and you see less tuition fee that's why the candidates who got the seat allotted after visiting the college and looking at the infrastructure patient load opd ipd and other factors based on reviews they don't join the seat so you have to double check and you should be ready to sacrifice with the quality of the colleges either you sacrifice money or you sacrifice quality of the college otherwise you won't get the seat for TB and chest, it can go between 20 to 35. For psychiatry, 22 to 35. For ophthalmology, around 22 to 40. And what, uh, which are the states? The important states are Rajasthan. In Rajasthan, management quota. In no NRI quota available. In Maharashtra, management quota. In Karnataka, you can go for NRI quota or Q quota. In West Bengal, uh, Bihar and Madhya Pradesh. In these three states, you can go with NRI quota. In West Bengal, you can also look through management seat. Deep University, you can go with management quota or NRI quota. There are colleges where the tuition fee is very high. You can get through management quota. Uttar Pradesh, there is no NRI quota, just open quota. You can go for it for lower clinical subjects in just qualifying score. Haryana, you have NRI as well as management quota and two new colleges are coming up. In Himachal Pradesh, you can get through NRA or the management in Pondicherry also management or NRA so these are the options okay so let me summarize now 
what message I wanted to give through with this video. First thing, it's going to be neat PG in 2024. Second, next will be conducted in 2025. It will be in 2024, but not for those who have already attended this neat PG 2023. If they want, they can write, but next will be in 2025. Okay. Second uh, point, cutoff revision expected. Why and uh, what are the different factors? Then how to get clinical seat in low score? Okay, which are the different options? How to approach? Okay, it seems it looks very easy in the presentation, but in the practical, is uh, is your career as uh, your career at stake? Okay, so you don't take it very lightly. You do all the groundwork. You do the groundwork for researching about the colleges. You need to collate amount also to pay the tuition fee. And you need to keep it ready because once the seat is allotted, you don't get more than five days to report the seat. And if you don't report timely, nobody can give you the seat back. Okay. So that's all from my side in this video. Thanks for watching.